So y'all, let's get on this real quick. I forgot, and I can't believe I didn't speak my little piece about this and how I feel about this. And I do need to go and get the link for this and that I had earlier, the post that I shared about it. Y'all, y'all heard about, um, because I seen the link, Morgan Wallen is trending, so I clicked on it. And I'm like, they said it's something about, and this, I'm putting it, talking, put it in my words and to the best of my abilities. And I'm giving my opinion on it. So, they're talking about his, he was supposed to have his court date today from when he threw that, got drunk and threw that chair off the top of that building. I'm thinking, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking that he, that happened in Nashville or somewhere in Tennessee. But, and that ain't the first time this man got drunk and did something. That made me think Morgan Wallet cannot handle his liquor. And then they said he facing up to six years and I think three felony charges. I'm like, damn. He only 31 years old. So if he get six years plus he being 31, he'll be what, 37? That's if he do the whole entire six years. He shouldn't be wanting to do no time in jail. Sorry, you a country artist. So, so you make him bank you a celebrity yeah his time in prison ain't gonna be like everybody else's time in prison i'm just guessing i'm just saying that i ain't never been to prison i'm just saying because he's just putting two and two together he's a celebrity he gonna be somewhere protected that's all i can say and but you have a child six years are you willing to spend six years away from your child or even risk the fact to spend anywhere between a year Six years or half a minute, I wouldn't want to spend no type of years away from my child, children, or whoever. Family either. Then, the fact that this dude don't seem like he can handle his damn liquor. Because every time he get drunk, it's like he do something stupid. Or he do something like this. Or something that has repercussions. Not so good that has bad repercussions. I mean, not, I'm not knocking this man's music at all. Because I do like his songs. I'm a, a handful of his songs. Trust me, I even got it. Like I said, I just even made a, a short video with three of them on my Morgan Wallen playlist. And I'm still going to listen to his music regardless because he got some good music. But child, it's like this dude, he's 31 years old. You can't stay. It, it's like when he get, when he drinks, trouble is soon to follow. Or he always into doing something he ain't got no business. He shouldn't be doing you should look at the facts, sir. You made it. If you made it in life, you, why would you want to jeopardize it? Not a music label. Going, I'm just. This just me speaking. This just my opinion. The music label. They're not gonna be making no money off of him for six years. So they probably. Probably. I'm not saying they will because I don't know nothing about it. They probably end up dropping him. Six years is a long time to be not making no music. Look at L. King. She not saying that she in prison, but she's an alcoholic. And from what I heard, that she went to, and I saw on Facebook a while ago, a few months ago, that she went to go get, go to rehab or something like that. So I'm like, I don't know. Y'all, it's just, it's a bit much. I mean, this man in liquor. And like the whole situation with L. King, I think that's her name, L. King, Ralph Schneider daughter. I'm like, y'all people can't handle y'all liquor. Y'all just get buck wild when y'all get drunk. Y'all get a little sip of something in your system, that liquid courage in your system. You just go fucking buck wild. That means y'all don't need to drink. If you can't just take drink a drink and sit down somewhere, get somewhere and sit down and be still and chill, just enjoy the drink and just chill. Just be mellow. That's what, for me, Whenever I do drink, which is very rarely, that's for me to just get somewhere and sit down and chill and be mellowed out. Not get somewhere and go out there and act the ass. Go do stuff that's going to cause me any time in jail. Six months, a year, two weeks, a day, seven years. I'm not trying to go be in nobody's jail, nobody's prison. I'm not trying to spend time away from doing things that I love. I don't care how long it is. And that's another reason why, a part of the reason why I stopped going to clubs. Because... The simplest, silliest, silliest reasons. One of the simplest, silliest reasons is being a female going to the club, you drinking, and then you know drinking, you got to use the bathroom. You try to go to that bathroom, go to a, be a woman and go to the bathroom, and you know it's women all in that bathroom. 
standing there in the mirror, standing there talking, reapplying their lipstick 50, 11 times, combing their hair, and they stand there swaying in the bathroom mirror because they got so much alcohol in their system, can't stand up straight. And then lying bathroom, lying all out the door, and all you got, you got to pee real bad. You got to use the bathroom real, whatever you got to do in that bathroom, you got to go real bad. That line wrapped around the damn building so many times, I done been to a club like that. The line almost backing up to the dance floor. I'm like, what? No, I got to pee. Do I need to go outside behind a dumpster or between a tree and a dumpster and pee? And have somebody, um, have somebody that I came with come stand in front of me and watch out or stand between two cars? One backed in and one pulled in and had them open up their doors. The doors that's next to each other so I can sit there and I can stand there and just pee. Because, baby, I would never wear I Well, I ain't going to say I never would. I think there was one. Well, quite a few times I done wore a skirt or a dress to the club. But, yeah, I'm not doing that. That's a specific, That's one reason. There's plenty of other reasons I ain't going to get into. But getting back to the topic, what is with these people that when they drink, it's like it makes them want to go out and do something that's going to get them jail time or cause them to lose everything they worked hard for. They didn't got worked this hard up to this point in life that they going this they drinking is going to make them lose everything. Them the type of people that don't need to be drinking anything but water, juice, Powerade, Gatorade. Hey, you could even drink bone broth water. Just don't drink no alcohol because I'm I'm just gonna say this. Morgan Wallen, you're a good dude. I, well, I don't know. You make good music. That's all I can say. And I love some of your music. I love your I love your music. Some of your songs. But sir, you need to give up drinking. I'm sorry. You you really do because every time it's like this is the second time that I know of that he done been drinking and did something stupid. And yes, I'm calling it stupid because with you facing six years in prison for throwing a chair off a building that could have either hit somebody that's walking down below, could have hit somebody's car, could have went through somebody's windshield and killed them when it hit their car, could have um, caused an accident because something falling out of the sky and it hit the ground. It could have damaged their, their car. It could have um, caused a, uh, an accident because people stopping, they, something fell out of the sky and they don't know what happened. It's a number of things that could have happened. They could have, uh, the wind could have blew it and knocked it into somebody's building. You never know what can happen when stuff dropping out the sky and nobody know where it's coming from. Yeah, when I tell you, I, I don't know if it's these people that was born in the 90s and grew up in the early 2000s that second like that, 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 or he got, because it's not just him that's acting like that. Look at L. King. When she get drunk, whoo, that girl there, bro. Rob, Rob Schneider, your daughter, her and alcohol don't mix. Them two and alcohol? No. Them the type of people, you don't even let them drink at home. They don't even need to drink at home. Because if they drink, period, if they drink at home, they're going to go outside and do something stupid. They can't. It's like they can't sit still. Like they got ants in their pants when they drink or something. Child, when I tell you. My main thing is, could you imagine having a child or those of y'all that have children or a child spending six years possibly spending six years away from your child six years so you gonna sit there and say the last time i seen my child was when i was 31 now i'm 36 now i'm 37 or 36 and a half y'all i couldn't do it i couldn't do it i'm sorry i, I can't do it not because of something stupid now, i can see going to jail behind protecting your child now that i can see when is your child's life dependent on it? Now that I wouldn't mind going to jail for. But going to jail behind, doing, throwing a chair off a building? Getting drunk and throwing a chair off a building. It is not that damn serious. I'm sorry, it's not. Maybe, like I told my mama this morning, maybe this is Morgan Wallen's wake up call. Maybe this is meant for him to go sit his ass down somewhere and chill out. Maybe this is for him not to only just sit down somewhere, get somewhere and sit down. For him to just stop drinking before he, one, develop a drinking problem if he ain't already got one. Two, before he end up hurting somebody because of his, uh, him drinking and it snowballs all out of out of place or all south, it goes south. Or before he end up hurting himself. Nobody want none of that to happen. Because at the end of the day, the main thing for me, he has a child. You would think you would want to be here for your child. And 
to branch off of that, not the drastic part, being here for your child means being here physically to see your child grow up, not being in prison. You got to heal. Oh, did you know your son or daughter? Um, you got to get call your mom and be like, your mom be like, oh, did you know your uh, son or daughter or whatever went to um is in Chile now? Oh, she just graduated middle school. Well, you should have been there. I'm gonna uh, get the pictures and print them out and send them to you. Then no, hell no. Then the prison got to check your mail and make sure ain't nobody sending in no drugs or nothing illegal. Ain't nobody, for, ain't nobody, I don't have time for that. I want to physically be there to see my child go through all these little milestones and things that they want to do in their life. I don't have time for all that. I'm not going to spend no seven years or six years or however many years. And then not to mention, the dude is going to be a felon now. A felon. Three-time felon. Three. He got three charges. Not just a one-time felon. Hell, even the felons that's already felons from stuff they did in the past don't even want to be felons no more. But I'm just in this mug and wild need to get his shit together, for real. Because he's doing stupid shit and going to jail for it when he drinks. Sir, you need to stop fucking drinking, seriously. But yeah, I just wanted to get my opinion on that. I'm going to go find this link and I will have all this posted and uploaded. Y'all have a good night. Bye, y'all.